Hey there guys, welcome back to Drive Club once again. Today I'm going to be driving the Ferrari 599XX Evolutionize. I've never heard of the car before in my life, but Drive Club added it in. So we're going to give it a little rav. We're doing team races today. Something I haven't done for a while. I haven't done multiplayer in a while. And this car's only available in multiplayer. So if I do badly, it's because I haven't played the, the multiplayer in a long time. As you can clearly see. Come on, get back on the road before it resets me. That was so close. I can't see. I cannot see a thing. Wow, that guy spawned in front of him. That was so unfair. Anyway. <laughs> few reasons I'm driving this car today, main one, the, the main reason, is somebody said in the comments section that this car has this, the wheel that I use, and if you look in the cockpit view of the car, you can actually see the wheel is pretty damn similar, or pretty much identical other than like a few odd bits, to my wheel I'm using here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it makes, you know, it makes reason for me to actually drive this car more so, I'm just like, oh yeah, this is my car now. It's, it's actually got my wheel. Maybe they added it in for me. I don't know. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I'm driving with this today for uh, that reason. But one thing I've got to say straight away is the handling of this thing is absolutely beautiful. Like, it's in a hyper class. And it drives like it's in a class below it, handling-wise. But speed-wise, you can tell it's a hyper car. Look at this Hennessy Venom. We're going to eat him for breakfast. <laughs> God, I've been playing a lot of the crew today, so it's going to be a little bit weird to try and get used to the wheel. Like, switching between both games with the wheel, the force feedback and the handling's completely different. Like, with a controller, it's different. But, oh my god, when you're using a thing like this to control, it's like, holy crap. Am I playing the right game? Am I using the right settings? <laughs> Did the game suddenly change handling models since I last played it? No, you're just a bit of a fool. We're not doing too badly, actually. Third out of eighth. So, I'm impressed because, I've, as I said, I haven't played a lot of this. The only time I've really played Drive Club is uh, to check out a new update, like, say, with my friends. Or to uh, record a video, mostly recording videos. And I don't record a lot of Drive Club videos, so I don't play a lot of the game, really. Um, but, I mean, it's a good game. It's just I'm not one for really close track-based races, especially when an open world game just come out, came out. But I, what I love is that every single time I go back to this game, there's something new about it. Oh my god, that's a horrible corner. Remind me never to use this track again. I can't see Mr. Hennessy Venom. Do you mind? Oh my god, I thought I was going to have to turn left. And there's a Zonda behind me. Oh my. Okay. Contain yourself, Theo. <laughs> Do not go crazy over that sound. That was absolutely brutal sounding. Thing is, if I try... Oh, my God. Oh, he's knocked him off. He's knocked off the Hennessy. No. Oh, you bloody plunker. Oh, that is so unfair. That has cost me that. Oh, are you kidding me? I was about to take the bloody prat. Anyway, because we're behind now, we as well go over to here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now I've messed that up! <laughs> Get back on track! And now I'm fifth place! No, this guy's gonna crash and let me pass. Cheers, mate! <laughs> Thank you for that! Very useful. But no, seriously, like, now, now I'm, like, stuck in this place. There's no way that I'm gonna get any higher anyway. I'm probably gonna go lower, because this guy just flew right past me. I think not, buddy! Give me back my place. What are you doing? Why are you ramming me? I'm on your team, you plonker. That's one thing I don't like about the, the people on this game. Like, most of them don't know how to freaking drive like that, for example, and just take out their own teammates to try and get a higher place. And it's like, I'm, mate, you're going to make me mess up. You're going to make yourself mess up. Who is going to win? The other team. So stop it. Oh, it's, it's really annoying. So that's mainly why I play with like a, a bigger group of friends and like add them to the session and we kind of play like that. Because I know that they're not going to take me out and I know that they're going to do their best and not just prat about. Huh. But Drive Club is a very good game. Like, 
to kind of have organized track racing. Like, I think once the, the, the dust settles, once the crew is kind of like, I've played it a lot, I'll be switching between both of these games like crazy hellfire because I, I love... No, what's, did I finish? Oh, come on, I was right near the finish line. That's so unfair. But that was my first time driving that, and I did better than the other guy in it, so I guess that's a positive. Looks like the blue team won, though, so it's not all... It's not all bad. Fourth place. That, I hate the number four. It's just so terrible. It has to be the top three, otherwise it's terrible. Although you've been taught that any... Whoa, okay, that's a lot. I leveled up a lot there. Holy crap. Anyway, so uh, that was a quick Drive Club multiplayer race. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys this car. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. And if you want to see more Drive Club multiplayer or Drive Club overall, I'll give it a like and, I'll let, and uh, we'll see what I can do. Anyway, until next time, guys. Peace.